So years ago in Australia, it became really cool to sort of um, turn yourself into like an anti-China grifter. And there was like this kid, he was like fucking literally like 18 named Drew Pavlov. You know, he starts going to university and he's, and he's like, you know what I'm going to do immediately? I'm just literally immediately going to try and turn myself into an anti-China grifter, tr turn myself into like this white savior. And he starts like protesting at his university. Like he would go to like, this was during the Hong Kong protests and he would go to like the, like the Hong Kong protest shit that was on campus, etc. Go there and like turn himself into the leader of these protests, even though like they were actual people from Hong Kong and shit there, somehow this guy like just inserted himself into it, like incredibly desperate to try and use this as a platform to turn himself into like a media political personality or something. It worked for like a year or so because he would like pick fights with Chinese counter protests and stuff there, get them to beat him up. Good, good work, my Chinese friends. Good job. And, you know, he would get headlines because of that. And he was like, Australian university students standing up against the evil Chinese Communist Party. So that got him some publicity for a while. And, um, you know, this was at the University of Queensland. And like a lot of other universities in Australia, they have like a Confucius Institute, which is like a Chinese government funded, like Chinese um, history society research institute that also runs like Chinese language classes. Most of what they do is run Chinese language classes, which is very similar to other programs. For example, um, I was taught by multiple teachers in my Spanish university classes who were literally sent there by Spain, by the Spanish government. They were paid by the Spanish government. They weren't paid by the university to go there and make sure that we learned about how good Spain was and that we learned the Spanish dialect of Spanish instead of any other. So it's not that it's just, just China that does that sort of thing. But anyway, so he got suspended for basically just being a serial pest. That was what he was. He wasn't going to the university with any sort of intent to actually study at the university. He was going there to just make himself a nuisance and try and like get fame and um this is his fucking picture like look at him he's having the time of his life he was having the time of his life back then he's not he's not he's not at these heights anymore so like he managed to turn himself into like you know he got some stories in the media people knew his name for like a year but he didn't actually manage to monetize it he didn't actually manage to turn it into anything long lasting because no one fucking cares you don't have anything interesting to say you know he, he forgot to like make a youtube channel called like china uncovered and like talk about like um i don't know chinese baby organ har har harvesting or some shit like be inventive that you know that would have gotten him uh, a stable income but he just decided to just keep doing what he was doing which was just like go to protests and like try to cause a scene which would usually work it would get him like two articles in the media and then everyone would just forget about him you can't monetize causing a scene so now my poor man here what has he been reduced to years later he, he didn't manage to turn his 50 minutes of fame into anything all that he does is just like spam very obvious jokes on twitter about how like um taiwan is is anti-colonial resistance if you're not careful the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing oppressing if you listen to twitter they will have you thinking these men are evil but we know they are fighting for freedom this was literally the day after the dalai lama asked a child in public to perform a sex act on him so that's what this is reacting to it's obviously he thinks he's like an epic ha ha funny troll but what this is is someone who tried to he, he did try very hard by the way to turn himself into like a real you know he tried to like turn himself into a sort of ngo human rights ngo sort of um activists you know those ngos that basically exist to do state propaganda and they receive funding from the state to do so and then they pay themselves to do it that was kind of what he was hoping to do and he failed completely he launched the drew pavlov democratic alliance P federal political party and tried to run for the Senate, and they garnered 0.02% of the vote. How many votes in total did they get? Th there's a percentage, it doesn't tell you how many. I bet they got like five votes. That's fucking hilarious. He may, like, he, you know, he tried to ride his very, very fleeting fame for basically just being a serial pest to like um, being a politician, being like a paid human rights activist working for an NGO, stuff like that. None of it worked. And now what has he got? like a zero engagement Twitter account that just gets like 500 quote tweets from posting obvious jokes and like a YouTube channel where he gets 2,000 views per video. My writing. He has a sub stack, he has a Patreon. What does he make there? 58 patrons. Probably like a couple of hundred dollars at most, man. I have like six times his patrons and, and I've never had to embarrass myself in public to get some 
some articles on me during a slow news day. Does he have an OnlyFans yet? I wouldn't, I wouldn't su be surprised if he makes one soon. He's getting really fucking desperate. He's so desperate for attention, it's insane. Check out his sick content on YouTube. He's got um, 1.8k subscribers, gets a couple hundred views per video. He's literally like a bottom feeder. And look at him too. Oh man, that is, um, that is, um, that is not, that is not a good picture. He looks like a fucking AI generated face from Football Manager. Literally, they look exactly like that. Uncanny. But he's like a bottom of the barrel grifter now. And it's very funny. It's very funny because I don't even know how you fail at doing that. If I was an anti-China grifter, I would have like 500,000 subscribers on YouTube right now. I'd be living at fucking large. Because it's so fucking easy to do. All you gotta do is just make random shit up. Just like uncritically like repeat whatever bad shit you hear other people hear to like an audience who want to hear it. It's so fucking easy. How do you fuck that up? Like how are you so incredibly untalented and stupid? that you don't ride the wave of being a serial anti-China, anti-China pest and getting media attention for it to riches. How'd you mess that up? I guess it's probably that like COVID came along and, and um, ruined his thunder because his whole thing was, you know, in like provoking Chinese people to punch him in the face and, and getting headlined because of it. But then COVID came along and he couldn't go and do it anymore because he had to stay at home. Ruined his life basically. And now what is he reduced to? Posting, like, obviously ridiculous bait on Twitter. He went from, like, trying to be, like, a nuanced anti-China representative. Representative of a, the left anti-China current. To just, like, nothing. Living with his mummy in, in her basement, unemployed. Well, while she's like, Drew? Drew? It's not gonna work, Drew. You're gonna have to get a real job, Drew. Come on, Drew. But Drew just doesn't give up. He's just spamming Twitter. He's posting videos on his YouTube. He still has faith that he is going to rise above adversity to overcome the failures of the past and somehow become a, a, an anti-China grifter like the hundreds of others. I don't know, man. I just, it's just fucking pathetic that you failed so badly. How do you even fuck that up? How do you get like mainstream media attention, especially in a country like Australia where like um, xenophobia is a national fucking pastime and not ride it to like to m get making yourself rich? That's crazy. Like, you know, they're, they're, the imperialists are not sending their best. The imperialists are not sending their best. You gotta be just a fucking moron to fuck that up.